OK, uh, finally, uh, let's talk about uh, what is data analytics. So that is a major topic of this class. So let's think about what happens in 60 days, uh, 60 seconds. So there are more than 100 million spam emails are sent. And Netflix users stream more than 70,000 hours of videos. And YouTube users watch more than 4 million videos, which we just contribute a few of them. And there are more. OK, so we are now in the area of the big data so that we human beings generate millions, millions of data in different format at different speed. And those data are very important and have huge values for business, for academia, for industries. So the, the ability to analyze those huge amount of data in different volumes, in different format, and also at various speed is a big challenge. Okay, so that's why we say that organizations spend millions of dollars on data storage. You know, we want to handle the big data. But actually, the problem is that now we do have the data. The problem is that how can we do anything with it? So how can we do analyze those data? So what is data analytics? So here are some very uh, broad definitions. So first, analysis is just the way that we examine something in order to understand it uh, or to identify some essential features. So we want to analyze data so that we can gain the insights of the data. And the ultimate goal is that from those insights, that can help us to make take actions. OK, so how can we convert data into insightful actions? So the data analysis is a process of compiling the data. You gather the data and you need to process the data because the data itself are just simply numbers of videos, images, etc. So you have to convert it in a way that can tell the story. And we have to analyze the data. So that can help us to make decisions. So for example, based on the banking records, so what are the customers that you want to send out advertisement so that those customers are the most highly likely to buy your financial products. Okay. And analytics is just the simply the system, systematic ways of analyze of your data. And data analytics is specific analytical process that's being, uh, being applied. OK, so let's see one story. So let's say we gather the Twitter data and we have the banking transactions that from our different data resources. OK, so it's a Twitter and also we also have the banking records. And so we put that into different data resources, for example, the MongoDB and also relational database. And we convert that one into a uniform. We combine those resources in one data source. So for example, we put that one into a data lake. And we do some analysis. So we clean the data. Um, we, we aggregate the data. OK. And we can make predictions. OK. And so based on their um, what they say on Twitter and also based on their records in bank. So probably we can identify some users that we can uh, sell our send out our advertisement or you know to to uh, to advertise our new financial products okay so that is a a way that we can how we can consume the data and also to, to make help us to make decisions 
So the component of the analysis, so we have the raw data, we need to ingest the data, collect the data to our data storage. So we all mentioned that there are, are different type of the data storages, like data link, data warehouse, and also uh, databases. Uh, we, we need to handle the, the different type of data at any st speed and also for each either batch queries or for streamings. So sometimes we need to analyze the data in the real time. Okay. And store data, we can use database so we can store semi-structured all the structured data. So next, uh, t tomorrow we will talk about relational database that is used to handle the structured data. Data Warehouse is a more powerful data storage that support data analytics. Uh, so that is also used to handle structured data. And Data Link can be used to handle structured, semi-structured, and also unstructured data. So unstructured data like uh, videos, images, and also texts. Okay, so those are used to handle the unstructured data. And next, we can analyze the data. Okay, so we have huge amount of data. So how can we sort the data? How can we aggregate the data? So normally an individual record does not tell a lot of, uh, does not tell a lot. So we need to aggregate a huge amount of data together to see the patterns. And we can join the data or we can apply our the business logic to produce a meaningful data set. Okay, so in this, this step requires a very powerful data analytics. The computation powers require a huge, a very powerful com computers. So that is where we have our EMR. Okay. Okay, so which we are mentioning on our last day that how we can process and also analyze data. And sometimes we also want query data and also use create visualizations. Uh, so on our third day, we also will talk about data visualizations. Um, that how we can create those interactive visualizations can help us to understand the data easier, uh, to ident identify the patterns easier, and also to help us to communicate with our client easier. Okay, so that is what we will talk on our third day. So that is data visualization. 